guys, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for joining me for another video. I have finished yet another uh, journal for my craft fair, and just remember that if these don't sell at the craft fair, I will have them on my Etsy, so keep an eye out for them. This is, um, I call it my fairy dream journal. Uh, this is one where I made the cover out of an old pillowcase uh, that I found at the Goodwill store. I had a little bit of accident with my glossy accents and I spilt it on the flowers, but it turned out to be a happy accident because look at them, they are glistening, they're beautiful, they are sparkling, um, just like the, the sparkles on the pillowcase, if you can see that, I'm not sure if you can, but yes, it's it turned out beautiful. So the digitals I used inside of this journal um, are mainly from Liana Scrap Fairy Dream Junk Journal Kit. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look. This is two signatures. Um, on the back here, I have this gorgeous little kind of dangle with some different ribbons, rickrack, uh, some different fibers, and then of course, um, some little gems here. I have a little flower, a key, and then this cute little pearl. I apologize if my voice sounds funny. Uh, I am coming down with a cold, so, um, not really excited about that, but yeah, bear with me. Okay, so let's get started. Just open it up on the side here. It's just a ribbon tie. Um, I mainly did this with all my journals just because it was uh, fairly simple to do and quick and I needed to get these done. Okay, so starting on the inside, um, as per usual, my letter to the journal owner, I have this cute little journal card that I made from the kit with some of the words from the kit and did just a little bit of um, collage on there. Um, I have added some ribbon to or some lace to some of the pages just to add a little bit of interest and fun. Um, we have just some coffee dyed paper, some tags from the kit, um, some different collage items that I made, some journal cards and what have you, and some fun pockets. Again, I'm using some of my um, colored uh, dyed papers. Uh, again, I have some of these available on my Etsy store if you're interested. Just really cute. Um, this is just a piece of uh, Recollections cardstock. It was 12 by 12 that I cut down. I just thought it would be a really cool place to journal. Uh, I thought it was really pretty. So yeah, you can journal on it either way. And then I have this fun little butterfly. Again, you can write on the back or you can use it for whatever you like. A piece from the kit that I just turned into a pocket and um, these lace I believe um, they might also be from Liana scrap I just can't recall off the top of my head but this is definitely a Liana scrap digital from that uh, fairy dreams kit um, I did two cute little pockets with tags from the kit and some beautiful lace digitals with some lace on the side just embellishing uh, these are eco dyed papers from Liana Scrap. Um, just a pocket that I had on hand created at a book page, which, which is really cool. Just It's like a little envelope pocket and then just some pieces on the inside to discover. And then it's also a tuck on the side, so just another fun journaling card that I made in there. Uh, this is paper that my daughter had actually made for me, just with some distressing kind of daubers, or just, I think they're the stains. It was really fun that she created some of those for me. Um, this is one of those bookmarks that I got from uh, the local bookstore, the Owl's Nest, that's close to me at work. Um, I just made it into a little tuck and added some cute little pieces in there. Uh, just a cute little dragonfly gem. Some more of my dyed papers, some eco dyed papers. That brings us to the signature of the, sorry, the center of the first signature. Look at these, they're just gorgeous. So lots of places to write. A cute little belly band and then just a journaling card. Can really personalize this journal to to what you like. A little envelope here with some pieces inside just clipped on with a cute little paper clip. A 
some more little fun pieces, a little fairy card in here. Uh, this is a little vellum pocket that I created. Yeah, these pages just were so beautifully decorated that they really just speak for themselves. Again, just a few more pieces. Uh, this is a, a piece from the digital ephemera kit. Um, I think there's the add-on kit for this. And then just some pieces that I had on hand. Uh, some pockets from the kit. Lots of little things to discover here. And that's the end of the first signature. Then we go to the second signature. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? Um, this is one of those little flip downs that I made just with some um, Recollections cardstock. And I used a Tim Holtz medallion die cut just to create a the little kind of holder or closure on here. Again, another little envelope that I that's from the kit, but then I added some decoupage or decoupage collage to it. And then just some, got to put something inside there yet. And just yet some more tags that I created. And then a Tim Holtz piece. Isn't that adorable? So this is a Tim Holtz piece and then I just added this cute little fairy on top. Have another one of those little butterflies. And then this is just a coffee dyed um, kind of recipe card or what do you call them? I can't think of the name, but you know what I mean. Uh, index card. Sorry. Whew, that was tough. I just love the lace on these pages. It just makes it feel so elegant. Another little bookmark that I used as a tuck and another journal card that I created. Had a lot of fun making the ephemera for this. Of course my business card. This is just a piece I had on hand that I made into a tuck. A tag that I had on hand. Uh, this I've made previously in another video. You can check that out. Just almost like a little um, specimen card but with a little charm on it. that in there. Another belly band. This is just another index card that I collaged on. Another place to write. So yeah, whoever gets this journal is not going to be short of writing space, that's for sure. A few more little fun pieces. Secret garden card. A little garden um, what do you call this, a uh, library card, and then I added a wink of Stella on there so it's all sparkly, I'm not sure if you can see that. Another inspiration card. Again, I get those inspiration cards off of Amazon. And then another piece from the kit that I just collaged. Center of this signature, I have a little sticker there. I'm not exactly sure why. Okay, then we have this fun bag and inside is a postcard, actually two postcards that are super cute. And then this is just a, a bag that, or a glassy bag that I uh, did some decoupage of the napkin. Um, some washi tape, just some different bits and pieces. And um, this is just a little clip on tag that I made a pocket in the front. You can journal on the back of it. And these pieces just tuck inside. And some eyelash trim on that tag just for some fun. Another little tuck. Again, more little pieces from the kit and other pieces that I have made. So I, oh, and this is a cute little um, friendship pin that my daughter made. It's super cute, I don't know if you can see that. But she did such a good job of creating that for me. That was fun for her to do. And then that really kind of brings us to the end here with another last little pocket on some of that dyed paper I made. And then just a few little pieces in the back. 
make sure I signed this. Yes, I did. Awesome. So yeah, that is the quick flip through of this gorgeous Fairy Dreams journal. Again, the digital uh, pieces that I used are from Liana Scrap. Um, I also used some other ones that I had on hand or that I found on Pinterest. So definitely um, just go ahead and search uh, fairy um, or vintage fairies and you'll get some great images come up on Pinterest. All right, guys, so that is the end of this flip through. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you again to all my subscribers and we'll catch you on the next video. P.S. I love you.